So that's the basics of the template. Now this is where things get very difficult. Um, let's just make that bold. And this one bold too. They're the two totals that we want to stand out. This is where things do get difficult because we need to project what these figures are going to be after the first year. Um, so let's just take them one by one and go through them and, and, and get the figures. What also makes this difficult is the asset total needs to total the liabilities and equity. So assets always total liabilities and equity. So these totals should be the same, these two here. Once again, if you don't need to do this, then skip this video as it is quite complicated. So cash, we'll get this from our cash flow. This is all of our bank balances, petty cash, and any cash that we'll have that's owned by the company. So let's just say that's going to be 15,000. So we've looked at our cash flow and that's how much cash we project to have at the end of the first year. Accounts receivable. We can use the sales forecast for this, um, calculating or forecasting sales for the next year. And then how many of those clients or customers will be credit customers or credit clients. And that should give us an idea of our accounts receivable and what that is going to be at the end of that year. You also need to take into consideration terms, your sales terms, such as 30 days, 15 days, etc. But let's just say that's £750. For most small businesses, there won't be any accounts receivable. Um, clients who are on credit stock once again we can use our sales forecast for this um, and also our cash flow cost just to see how much stock we're buying how much we're selling and how much stock we're likely to have in a monetary value at the end of this financial year so let's put 3500 equipment once again look at um, expenses forecast cash flow forecast and see if there's any equipment that we will be purchasing um, which counts as an asset such as computers um, office equipment such as desks chairs um, and other things you may need to uh, machinery you may need to create what you're selling let's put that down as three thousand and then any other assets such as 100 pounds in there so that's our asset total, and that's what our liabilities and equity should equal. Our liabilities, a liability is something that we owe from the business. So let's put our bank loan in here of, say it's 18,000. We will get that by looking at our cash flow forecast, seeing how much money we're taking as a bank loan and then, look, then looking at repayments and also interest on that bank loan over that year looking at those figures we'll be able to calculate what the final figure will be at the end of the year for the bank loans so let's say 18,000 it's more likely because of interest it's likely to be something like 18,531 it won't be a whole number Accounts payable, so that's money we owe to other people, so we're a credit customer this time, so our suppliers, let's put in 2000 that gives us our liabilities total, we then have equity, which is capital and retained earnings, capital is money that we have put into the business, could say 1500 it's probably likely to be a lot higher than that um let's reduce this bank loan so that's fifteen thousand and then we can make this five three fifty and the retained earnings is any profit made in that financial year or previous financial years that we've kept in the business so it's reinvested profits that's what retained earnings is so we're not going to make a profit our first year, that would be zero. And you'll see these totals add up. They've only added up because I've made them that way. Um, you may have to do some adjusting on your template. 
once again, this is fairly difficult to create, especially if you have very little or no accounting background. If you do struggle and you need a projected balance sheet, you may need to hire someone to do it. I have been very brief in this video. This is one of the this is one of the last videos in this series. If you click the button now, you'll be taken to our last video in the business planning series, which is calculating break even.